Daniel's Good Day by Micah Archer. Daniel knows many people in his neighborhood. Have a good day, they tell him as he walks to Grandma's house. Excuse me, he says to Mrs. Sanchez, but what makes a good day for you? When skies are clear so I can paint, she tells him. He sees Emma heading to the park with a kite. What makes a good day for you? Daniel asks. A steady wind, says Emma. A day in the park with a bench in the shade, his neighbors tell him. A long nap for the babies, the nanny says. Whew, those babies look loud. A please and a thank you, says the bus driver. Bees on flowers, the gardener says. Birthdays, says the baker. Wagging tails, the mail carrier says. The newsstand teller tells him, busy sidewalks and friendly faces. Everybody home safe, says the crossing guard. When Daniel gets to Grandma's, she tells him, a hug from you makes my day good. In the afternoon, Daniel walks home with Grandma. The gardener is humming along with the bees. The baker and the bus driver are smiling. I wonder why they're smiling. Emma has found her wind. The babies are sleeping. The couple sits on a shady bench. Lots of people seem to be having a good day everywhere. At home, his mom asks, how was your day, Daniel? I had such a good day. There was a clear sky, a steady wind, a shady bench, a long nap, but not me. Pleases and thank yous, bees on flowers, but not at a birthday picnic. Wagging tails, busy sidewalks, friendly faces, hugs from grandma, and from you. And everybody home safe, adds grandma. How about some ice cream on your good day, Daniel? Yes, Daniel says. That will make it a perfect day. So that was Daniel's good day. Sounds like he had a perfect day when he ended with his ice cream. I wonder what a perfect day is for you. I hope you had a great time with us reading our story. You have a good night, sweet dreams, and I will see you in the morning.